Hey guys, so today's video is a bit different to what I normally do. I'm not actually out taking photos today, which for me is really weird just sitting here and talking to the camera. Before I get into this video, the other day I went out to take some photos of some fireworks for Kidderminster Boys Brigade and I left my SD card at home. Thankfully, my mum was there, I got a lift home and I got my SD cards. Now, I don't really have much of an excuse to forget SD cards considering I have six of them. One is currently in my camera now and I've got three micro SD cards in here as well. Because I forgot my SD cards, I decided, right, I'm going to buy more just for emergencies that are always going to stay in my bag. This video is non-sponsored, but I did today buy these Lexar Professional cards. They are the 32 gigabyte bronze cards that they do, which have a read-write speed of 95 megabytes per second. They are going to be staying in this nice packaging that they came in, in my bag, so that I've always got an SD card on me when I'm shooting. Aside from that, let's get straight into this video. Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm going to be talking through all of the cameras that I've used over the years, why I upgraded from them, and just kind of a history behind where I got my cameras from. So personally, I have only ever gotten rid of one camera. That was the Canon 1300D because it didn't have a mic port, but we will get back to that later. The first camera that I ever owned was this. Samsung S860, which I got off of my grandma. I used it mainly for camping uh, with scouts and boy brigade, just to take photos while I was there. It has a video mode as well. I did video going up Snowden, I think. I don't, I don't know exactly when this camera came out, but it, this was really what kickstarted my photography. So the next camera that I got was actually off of my godparents, and I do still use this camera sometimes. And this is the camera that actually made me start YouTube. This is the first camera that I really filmed on. So it's this, this is the Fujifilm uh, Finepix S8000 FD. It doesn't currently have batteries in, so I can't turn it on. But I do still sometimes use this. I have used this for some street photography, and honestly, it is still a very good camera. Again, I'm not too sure when this camera came out, but honestly, as bridge cameras go, this is very good given how old it is and when I got it. So the next camera that I bought, my dad already had two of these himself and I really wanted to get one to do stuff with like my like my BMXs, which it just never happened. I got this. This is the SJ4000, I believe. It's just your basic action camera made in China. And that's not just me being offensive and assuming everything's made in China. The box literally has Chinese writing on it. Over the years it's died. It now only records about three second clips and then cuts out, so it's really of no use to me anymore. Uh, next up, to replace that action camera, I actually bought one off of my good friend Chris, and Cam gave me another one that he wasn't using. These are both the same camera. These are the Kaiser Bass X3s, which are other, otherwise nicknamed the GoPro Killers. They're really good, they shoot in 2.7K, and these are what I use on top of my camera at the minute, whenever I'm filming a street photography video and need that extra angle. Uh, the only problem with this, um, well, I'll, I'll just roll the clip. We can't do another one. That's it. That, that was so worth it, the case is fucked. That was so worth it. So yeah, I decided, in my wisdom, to tape the camera to an axe and throw it at a wall and the case didn't hold up too well as you can see now. But these are still really good cameras. These have served me really well. And uh, yeah, so that, that's it for my action cameras. Now, the next camera that I got really is quite a step back into the past. It's this Polaroid camera, which I did film a video on a few months back. Now, this is all fully working. I have film for it. I just don't use it that often because it costs me two pounds per photo to film, which for one photo, two pounds, it's a lot of money to be spending on film constantly. So I don't use this as often, but I am gonna start using it more just to get a bit of more of a, a retro look on things. And I really did enjoy using this for a video. Um, the next camera that I bought, again, is quite a blast from the past. It's this Ricoh SLX 500. I haven't yet used this, but I am planning to do a video on this very soon. It's full manual, so I'm probably gonna use like my 700 or my 100D to work out the settings that I need roughly for the day. The only thing I need for this is a battery because the light meter inside doesn't work, which obviously 
I then need to use a digital camera to set it up buy a light meter or find a battery that fits it to get it working if I can great if I can't I'll get past it but I am going to be using this for a video very very soon and this only actually cost me two pounds from a charity shop which is ridiculously cheap like I've seen these online go for 10 20 pounds which is still not a lot but I got it for two pounds speaking of I didn't actually mention how much I got this Polaroid for this only cost me 15 pounds from the London camera exchange shop in Worcester which is a great deal I've spent about the same amount of money on film which it's neither here or there really. I'm also looking to get the manual for this because I have the original box so that I've got everything for the camera so should I decide to sell it I can sell it with a roll of film, the original manual and the original box but I probably won't sell it because let's face it I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to cameras and technology. I mean I've got a box full of broken phones. What can I say? So the next camera that I bought was the Canon 100D which is what I use on a daily for all of my street photography. I use the 700 which I'm filming on now to film on and I got this to replace this when I was making videos. So actually I got this quite a, quite a while ago. I got this quite a while ago now. Uh, I must have bought this about two and a half years ago when I started college. That's a point. Going back to the 1300D. I did have the 1300D for filming, but it didn't have a mic port, so it, it had to it had to go. I got a full refund on it, took it back, and then I went to pick up this 700D the same day. But this this is my most recent camera, and no, it's not. No, it's not. I have one camera, older but newer, since this. Uh, this is what I use just as I say on my daily. This is my daily pick up and go camera. I'm looking to get a 50mm lens for it so that I can do more portrait stuff because let's face it, using, one sec, where's it gone? Where the hell has that gone? Oh my, it's right in front of me. Okay, so I couldn't see this. Obviously using this for street photography to do portraits and stuff, I've got to stand quite far back from people which is a bit of a pain. So I'm looking at getting two more lenses very soon. I'm looking at getting a 50mm f1.4 and the 18 to 135 because for now I'm sticking with crop sensors. I don't need full frame lenses except for the 50mm. So I'm looking at getting the 18 to 135 Canon lens just so that I've got that nice in between between the kit lens, which I'm using now, the 18 to 55 and my zoom lens which is the 75 to 300 so it's that nice mid-range and it covers that gap that I'm missing between the two lenses. Uh, the last camera that I've, that I've got I can't actually use. It's this old rangefinder camera. It's a Zimmerman Luxet S. The reason I can't use this, I can't buy film for it anymore. They stopped making film for this camera back in the 90s. There's one company that sells it in Japan and ship it to Europe so I can buy it online but then there's the issue of printing. I don't know if I can get the 127 film, which is what this takes. I don't know if I can get it printed. So I'm gonna try and get my hands on some and try and use this for a video at some point, but I really don't know if I physically can or not. But I got this as a leaving present from Epic Militaria when I was a product photographer for them because I constantly banged on about old cameras and wanting to collect them. So they went and got me one for leaving. But um, yeah, it's a great little camera. Obviously it, it still winds up. You have to lock up the shutter manually and then it does work. It does actually take a photo. If I take the back off of this, you can actually see it working. So if I wind it up real quick, lift that. I'm not sure if you really saw that, but it does work. I just need to get film for it. And then obviously, because there's no, there's no limit to how far you can wind it. It's a case of just working out and really doing some guesswork to see if it's actually taking the photo or not, which is a bit of a pain, but I'll get around to that when I get around to it. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like this video. If you're new around here, please subscribe down below. It would mean a lot. And if you're a returning subscriber, one, thank you for sticking around. And two, if you've not already, hit that bell notification to stay up to date with when I upload. I also post on my Instagram when I've uploaded or when I'm about to upload a video. So please follow my Instagram as well, at Photography. 
So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, more street photography and out and about videos coming soon. I'm not too keen on sitting in front of a camera and talking to it. I find it really weird. So this won't be a recurring thing. Plus uh, I'm moving flat very soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. I still haven't heard yet, but I am looking for a flat. So hopefully this whole set with either a window at the side of me or just a wall of my computer in the corner that will change soon because I'm hoping to get a proper office set up and I'll do a whole vlog about that when it comes to it. So thank you for watching. Again, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one, which who knows what it's going to be. I don't. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next week. But until then, keep shooting. Peace. This is the... It's, it's some Chinese camera. This is the... What, what is it? What's it called? What's it called? Take two on filming a whole video from scratch with a bit more enthusiasm. Wait, let's, let's, uh, uh, look. What? Wait. Where the hell has that gone? Oh my, it's right in front of me.